Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft and my plan was today to bring you with me in the forest to my forest camp because I had some projects planned that I want to finish today um, and you would be able to accompany, to accompany me. So um, I, I switch now to the start of the video because my camp was completely destroyed from someone and the video is now completely different as I like to create it and as I planned it. Um, so we switch now to the beginning, how the video should normally start and then what I found here. Let's go. Nicht dein Ernst. Komm hier, Eika. Hey. Das kann doch jetzt gar nicht dein Ernst sein. Bleib hier. <lacht> Komm. Oh my god. Was ich nicht, was ich sagen soll. Nein, das ist pfui. Ich 
So there is a notification with my name on it. Mrs. Blank learned nothing, short trousers and then something I can't read. I wanna, I'm not sure what really stand there. I wanna piss at you or I wanna visit you. It's such a ugly writing, I'm not sure if I read everything. So you was not there, what a pity. Your camp is not damaged and it's your fault, we see us. So it was something that know me, that know my camp. Nein, nein, geh nicht ein, nein. And just want to destroy it because it's mine. What a asshole. Here is shit. I had to cover it that I or I cut does and step inside. And the only thing which is not so much damaged is the roof. So it's not so long ago when I covered it with moss. I spent a whole day for it, only for the cover, because I have to collect the moss. But everything else is just broken, destroyed. So I removed this wall in one of the last time because before it was here and I don't had enough space. So I removed it at this space, this wall, this wall. There was another wall. Um, I create there a wood dryer area out of um, spruce tree that it can dry there and I always have dry firewood. So and today I want to finish it and create there a table and also make there um, areas where I can leave my cooking stuff and something at the ground where I can cut my vegetables and everything. There was my chair. So I have no words how ill a person must be in the head that it can that, that the person just walk here and think oh it's from Vanessa let's destroy it my stomach also is crumbling it's a little bit too much too much actually hopefully I've left nothing which is now also destroyed or stolen What a asshole must you be. What a fucking asshole. I just I just check everything because when someone is so ill and they had to do this, maybe they also leave a no um, leave something poisonous from for Aika because they know she's with me always. Or just broken glass or something. But I see nothing. I don't know what I should do now or in the future, if it's worth it to rebuild it. But I could never know when this asshole come back and destroy again everything. And so the person must know who I am and what I do, that I create videos because there stands my name at the paper and I don't know if I want to be in an area where such a crazy person runs around and know that I sleep there. So I just talked to the owner of this forest area and he also knew nothing. He was a long time not here and I have to check when I was the last time here, but I think it's about two or three months when I was here the last time and so nobody at the moment saw or hear anything what happened here. At one side, I think 
you fucking asshole. You will not bring me away from my hobby, from my job, from my love to nature. But at the other side, I know this person knows who I am and that I spend the night there alone. And uh, yeah, of course, I always have a firearm with me, but you know, German law, it's not so effective like I want to have it. And I also have always Eika with me and she's great, she's doing a great job, but when you just know, what's that? A bone. When you just know that this person may come back someday, I just think stay away from me, far away from me, but at the other side I think hey this is what I love and you cannot stop me from doing that because you are just ill. You are ill in your head and I saw a lot in my life. I I had to read a lot about myself, crazy shit, and I had some crazy and dangerous meetings when I was alone in the forest, and nobody of them stopped me from doing something like this. And this person also will not stop me. Let's see who has the longest breath. And I'm sure that this is me. Den Zettel nehme ich mit. I bring the, this notification at home. Also jetzt hat der Spaß ein Loch. So, there is a photo, for, a photo from me. It's the same backpack that I carry today. And I'm, it's very damaged. So I'm not sure if it's a wildlife trek photo or not because there is the date on it, but when, when it's not a wildlife camera photo, that means that this person was in my closer area and take a photo from me, walk behind me, wants to check where I am, what I do, Or I have no idea how they could other ways find out at which day I am in the forest because I have no special day. And that means that I have this shit again. I, I had it all in the past. I had a stalker that write me letters at my private address, which is something that nobody knows, which knows who I am which knows the places where I was bushcrafting and take photos of them and send it to me. Look, I found your new camp and I, I, I had this all in the past, everything. And I fight, I fought against it in the past and I don't want to have this shit now again to just be scared everywhere and look behind you if there is someone following or always be with the hand close to the weapon because you always mean that there is something around somebody. I don't want this shit anymore.
I see no reason why I should stay here now, so... I uh, will pack my stuff and um, leave. And this paper will come with me. I made the mistake the last time when I had a stalker that I um, put the letters in the trash and then I have no nothing to show for um, for the law. So I don't want to make this mistake again. And um, the last time when I had the stalker, he write me letters and put it in my letterbox at home. So he was at my ground at home. And he also, um, when I was at a bushcraft trip, he tried to find out at which places I was uh, when I was in a closer area around my home. And uh, then he walked to these places and make a photo and sent me this photo uh, per mail that he just wrote, oh, I just found another place of you, you was there and then show the uh, landscape. But um, it was always afterwards, after my trip. But now with this letter and with the photo, it was not after I was there, it was during. And they tried to find out and step into my privacy when I was outside, not later. And this is a step more in the bad direction because they try to... I don't know how to say it. <sighs> so... I have to go. I have to leave now and speak with family and friends what, how I should think about this and um, then I need to find out for myself if I return to this place or not and what I can also do to have more protection. Yeah. So I always carry it like this. And when I'm in a situation where I don't feel well, I just opened it that I can um, directly put it out. Like um, when I am, when it's dark and I have to pee before I go into the bed. So this is a typical situation where I don't want to be unharmed. And I talked about it in the last video when I was bushcrafting with my kids. Um, I feel very sad that I'm never be able to go alone in the woods without any weapons because I always have to be beware of dangerous, ill people. And at one side I have the freedom to go outside in the woods to be complete alone or think I am complete alone now with the photo. I'm not sure anymore if I am always alone. And so this is the one side of the freedom and the other side is that I can't be complete free in this situation because I always have to be careful that nobody is around and that I have to protect myself. And I am... So I live in Germany. We have no dangerous animals here. Only wild boars. But I... I don't must to be, I don't must to have any weapons for them, but I need them for humans. I cast the whole time very protective. She sit down and watch 
in each direction and here so maybe the, she feel what I feel that I am confused or she really hears something We leave now and I have to think about what's, uh, what comes in the future and how I, um, how I, so, how I should react now. Okay, so I'm out for today. I wish you a great time and we see us in the next video. Bye bye. I just finished filming and removed everything but then I uh, think I have to say something because um, I'm pretty sure that the person who destroyed my camp also watched my video because he knows or she what my name is and then the person knows everything else. And I just want to let you know that this will not stop me. Of course, it's a bad situation that you destroy my camp, it was a lot of work and that I don't feel well when I know somebody was photographing me and maybe spy everything out, I don't know where you were. Um, but I just want to let you know that you will not break me, you will not stop me. So many other people tried this before and nobody will win. I have the longest breath and I will know I will at no time left you as the winner. So I will change something in the future, this for sure, but you will not change me and my lifestyle.